Bosh. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm taking you through a full day of eating and training. At least that's what I thought this video would be. However, this isn't how this video turns out. In this video, I actually take you through two days. The first day doesn't really go to plan, so watch the video to see why. Currently, I'm still on my mini cut. It's not gone 100% to plan, probably tell by the balloons in the background. Uh, it was my girlfriend's birthday, so I've ate a little bit worse than what I would have done as if it was a normal day. I'm not too bothered about it, to be honest. It just means I'll extend my cut or I'll make it a bit harsher. We're eating around 2,200 calories today. Starting off with meal one here, I've got my porridge oats. A squares bar and I am having to match the theme of the room. I'm having a monster. <laughs> We're in for an upper day. I've also changed my training split, which I'm going to talk about a little bit in this video. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take you into the gym with me. We're going to eat this, wait around half an hour, and then we're going to get into the gym. Spanish Bosch, Il Bosch. Right, so we are in the gym now. In my last video, I was talking about gym essentials and I said straps. I've only got a last man, haven't I? <laughs> not practicing what I preach today. I am going to order another pair of straps. Um, but that is a bit of a nightmare. But it is what it is. Anyway, we're heading in. Upper session. Let's get into the gym and let's get this smashed. That was probably one of the worst sessions I've had in a long while. First exercise in, my wrist was knacking and it still is like I'm bending my wrist back and it's killing. Threw me off all my pressing movements. And then from there, that just threw me off the rest of the workout. It just wasn't the best, so I couldn't get too much recorded. The only bad sessions are the ones that you don't have. So even if you get a bad session, you know, you just move on with it. I've got legs tomorrow. I'll make sure that's a good one. And it is what it is, really. Bash. Right, I'm not going to put that in though, I'm laughing. Right? You're born bastard. <laughs> um, having my next meal now. Uh, it's been a couple of hours since I had my post-workout meal. So, I'm going to have my chicken breast wraps. However, recently just got um, an air fryer. So, if you don't have one of these, you need to make sure you're cooking your chicken in it because it just makes it taste so much better. The next day. Okay, so we're at the gym. Before I'm heading into the gym, I'm gonna be trying this uh, Gymshark pre-workout. This pre-workout, nothing special. It's just the exact same as the ABE pre-workout. This is just, I wanted to try, you know, Gymshark's pre-workout. Um, we're gonna be dry scooping it. There we go. If I get this on the car seat after I've just had it validated, I am in for shit. Right. Ready. Oh, nice. Right, let's go smash this leg session.
I just wanted to go over my new training split and let you know what I'm doing. So currently my training split runs as a push, pull, legs, rest, upper, lower. So I've changed from just doing push, pull, legs all the way through twice a week. Now adding an upper and a lower day. Now the reason behind this is, is basically because I want to start hitting legs twice a week. Um, I haven't trained legs, you know, twice a week for forever, really. I've only ever done them once every week. Um, but they're a body part I really want to bring up, especially over these next couple months. So I'm training legs now twice a week. And my full upper day is just going to be, basically, it's going to fluctuate every week. So one week, it's going to be more chest dominant, the next back. Then maybe I'll do mainly an arm dominant one. And that's how I'm running my split. Um, I've been doing it for a little while. I've done it a couple of times before and I've really enjoyed it. I love upper days, full upper days. I just feel as though you get a load of stuff done and you can really focus on a few different lifts and progress at them. So that is the training split that I'm running. And also at the end of this month, I'm also going to be dropping my training plans. All right, so if you want to get ahead of the game, make sure that you are following me on Instagram. I'm going to be releasing loads of different discounts and stuff like that for the training plans, the exact ones that I use and that I'm using currently. I want to thank you all very much for watching and supporting the video so far. I will catch you all in the next one.